Last bash out, Terunofuji broke the internet when he snatched up the arm of Ura in a shoulder crank. This move has been such a staple of the current Yokozuna's game. In the March Basho, we caught a glimpse of how to counter Terunofuji's arm control by none other than the perennial small man, Midora Fuji. Before we begin with Midora Fuji, let's rewind to that section of Terunofuji attacking the arm in sumo to get a better understanding of what we are countering. On day one of the Hatsu Basho in 2024, Terunofuji returned to action after three straight Basho with injury. The Yokozuna roared back and reminded everyone that he was the top dog in the division with a crank on the shoulder of the ever athletic Yura. Off the Tachiya, Terunofuji will reach for the overhook and pull the arms of Yura upward similar to a wizard. From here, Terunofuji looks to grab the back of the Mawashi, but wasn't able to get the grip. In our next example, Terunofuji tries to push Yura to the edge of the dohyo. Yura will plant and have a good strong base. Instead of overpowering Yura with his shot knees, Terunofuji steps back with his right foot and keeps the overhook. He also locks his hands to sink in the grip and locking in Yura's arm. He will then switch hip direction and look to throw Yura. From that section, we can see how Terunofuji attacks the arm and uses the isolation to control his opponents. With Midorofuji being such a small Rikishi, one of the best ways to beat him is to grab a hold of him and take his speed away by not letting him go. In an answer to that, Midorofuji has developed a footwork and wrestling techniques on the inside as a result. On day 11 of the Haru Basho in 2024, Midorofuji displays the answer to someone looking to control the arm like that of Terunofuji. He took on the former Ozeki, Shodai. We will be looking at the same exchange from two spots and break it down in two sections the hand fighting and the footwork. When Midorofuji and Shodai clash in the middle, Shodai immediately corrals Midorofuji's right arm. He wrenches it in like Terunofuji does Ura. What Shodai did not do was control the left arm of Midorofuji. He will swim his left arm over and use his right corralled arm as an underhook and throws Shodai to his left side, guiding with his arms. But this isn't possible without Midora Fuji's footwork. Let's examine that next. We start again after the initial contact between the two Rikishi. With his arm controlled, Midora Fuji will shift his footwork to that same side. Notice his grip here in this frame. Midora Fuji will use that to push Shodai out. But his footwork is not yet in the clear. Midora Fuji will have to shift to his right again to allow for Shodai to fall unimpeded. Midorofuji consistently uses the techniques to stop the overhook and the wizard. Being a smaller man in the sport of 400 pound behemoths, he's had to develop a unique and exciting style. He is the member of the Isegahama stable that actually houses Terunofuji, the best in the game at these arm locks and drags. It is only fitting that he is a part of that stable and has the tools to develop a game to counter the overhook with Isegahama housing some of the best Rikishi in the overhook game. 